Well, here we are for Bar TV Sports outside Anfield, the home ground of Liverpool FC. But today it hosts the Ladbrokes Four Nations final of 2016. Well, it's been an absolute huge day here in Liverpool, Australia, back on top of the world by a convincing win here in the Four Nations over New Zealand. As we have a look around Anfield, scenes of jubilation, Jonathan Thurston hanging around, signing autographs, and the smoke and the hysteria that goes with Australia being champions back in 2016 for the first time, I might add, over the New Zealand Kiwis. They haven't done it before in a Four Nations, but Liverpool will be a very special place for them to look back on with fond memories. We went down inside the sheds, we caught up with a few players. This is what they had to say. Yeah, pretty stoked. Look, I was part of the 2014 man when we got beat, so um, yeah, it's a, it's a crazy feeling being on the other side and to get the win tonight and play the place like Anfield is pretty special. So, um, and just with the group of boys we've been playing with, it's just, we've worked hard for the last six weeks and it's just good to see all the effort that we've put in and get a reward today. Yeah, it's good, you know, it's a winning shed, so it helps. Um, a couple of presentations for the boys and that. So um, it's just, you know, it's just awesome to win. And as I said, it's my first Four Nations final to, to win. So I'm pretty pumped at the moment. I thought they started off pretty good in the first five, 10 minutes. They put a lot of pressure on us early on and had a couple of repeat sets, but you know, to the boys' credit, we spoke about it all week. They want to come out nice and hard, and we just had to withstand the storm, and, and just knew we got the sort of bit of a fight back. But um, yeah, we just held the ball and completed our sets. I think we were 20 from 21 in the first half, and when you play against a really good New Zealand side like that, it really helps. The Australian Kangaroos too good here today at Anfield over the New Zealand Kiwis, and I guess from the get-go, it was all Australia. Well, they're a world-class team. When you look at the likes of Cooper Cronk, Cameron Smith and Jonathan Thurston in the side, they really took control and put the Kiwis on the back foot from the opening whistle. And the Kiwis, they, they were making uncharacteristic mistakes. They were, they were giving away the ball. And Australia were just getting too much possession inside the 20. And once you got to 24 nil in front, it was always going to be a long ask for the Kiwis. But to their credit, they dug in in the second half, produced two tries but Australia just too much to reel in and they're world champions for a reason. Well, it's a magnificent stadium here at Anfield. More than 40,000 UK fans came here, but I'll tell you something, they were not cheering for Australia, were they? They were cheering for the New Zealanders. Well, that's right. I think it's, I think it's the case with any English um, thing when there's no England in the tournament anymore. They go for the underdogs and New Zealand really had the support. This stadium that's used to hearing he'll never walk a lane for Liverpool, it was all the Kiwis today. They didn't have too much moments to cheer about, but when they did, they found their voice and if there was a roof on the stadium, they would have lifted it off. How do you think Mal Meninga would be feeling? I mean, it's his first year as Test coach and he's got a win here in the Four Nations. Well, Mal Meninga, he... he would have had two two goals once he took over the Australian leadership. One was to restore the number one ranking for the for the Kangaroos, and the second was to promote the game of rugby league. And he's done both of those in this tournament. He was able to get the Kangaroos back to that that top of the world status. But at the same time, in England, the host nation isn't playing. Yet you've got a full stadium over forty thousand at a, at a Four Nations rugby league final. And the Four Nations, you know, it's not just about the rugby league on the field. There's a lot of uh, colour off the field. And earlier today, we caught up with Max the Mad Butcher from New Zealand. You know, Australia were just too good tonight. Um, put a lot of work in. You know, we uh, come here and we had high expectations. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we changed coaches four weeks before the game, uh, before the tour started. And uh, we, you know, got a bit of a pasting in uh, Perth. Uh, we, we took on uh, Scotland and won by one point, then played Australia. And first half were average, second half we, you know, come better. Uh, then we played Scotland, drew with them, and uh, David Kidwell, our coach, uh, has worked so hard with the team, and the team worked so hard this week, I genuinely thought we were coming here to win, to be fair. You've got a lot of young players, but I guess, you know, that will go pretty good down the track. You know, you've got to blood them somehow, don't you? 
there's no question about that, but people remember results. Like I was the manager in 2005, we beat Australia in Leeds 24-0. Yeah. You know, and people, that's what people talk about. Um, you know, when you get pasted up a little bit, it's not so good. But look, let me tell you, the viewers, uh, David Kidwell has done an excellent job on this tour. Um, and to be fair, Australia, Mel Meninga, full credit to him. He just got them fired up, mate. Well, it's been an absolute honour to come over here and cover the Four Nations for 2016. And don't forget, this time next year, it'll be Australia's turn and New Zealand's turn to host the Rugby League World Cup. But what's your you know, fondest moment of this tour? Well, Australia winning was, was what most people predicted coming over here, but I really enjoyed the performances from the Minnows Scotland. Many people didn't really give them a chance. They don't have a professional rugby league system in Scotland. They were dragging players from the NRL, from Super League, and they were not. They didn't disappoint in this tournament. They they put in a strong first half performance against England, and although they were thrashed 40 0 by Australia, they drew and got their and got the whole of Scotland behind them with their performance against New Zealand in that in that third game. I'll tell you something, they don't waste time, do they, with their uh, lawnmowers here at Anfield. A little story that we got told earlier today. The management here said if it was rugby union, there wouldn't be any action here at all because the, you know, the scrums and all that sort of thing actually dig up the pitches. But we're just lucky that we don't have that too many scrums in rugby league. So the rugby league side and the rugby league federation got the OK to play here on the treasure turf of Anfield. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen, from the United Kingdom. What a tournament it has been. The Four Nations of 2016. Australia winning their first Four Nations. And what a way to do it here at Anfield.